Hey everybody, John D. Villarreal here again for America's Venture Capital and I want to drill down a little bit more into this event and what the thinking is behind it so that if you're a startup company, a more developed senior company, right, a successful company, a venture capitalist, an accelerator, a government person, a policy person, an academic, there's something for you and healthcare. Healthcare is a big, big sector for us as well. There's something for you here and I'm going to talk about that. We're even doing the future of automotive, right? July 18th, Washington, D.C., that's where you want to be. Now, if you need information on it, check out the video description in YouTube below. We're going to have a link right to it so you can get your tickets immediately. So let's drill into this model so you can see what I'm talking about here. Right here, let's talk about this as hot companies. Let's call these the unicorns, right? Whether it's a startup or a more developed company, I don't care if you had a Series C, D, you're about to go public, or even if you've gone public, right? These are high growth companies, right? So think of this unicorns, the high growth companies, right? But that's not enough. Companies can't do it by themselves, right? Or very, 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 very few that can. Most cannot. It takes a whole ecosystem. So we're helping to build that ecosystem. What else do you need? You need money, right? So this is where your VCs come in, your institutional investors, or maybe it's a grant from the government, small business loan. There's all kinds of different ways to finance your startup or your company these days. Or if you're a more developed company now, maybe you're looking at venture banking. You're maybe you're looking, doing a factor some of your inventory. There's all kinds of different things that you can do. But you definitely need some money. That's part of the fuel. But there's more than that. What we've seen these days, particularly if you look at any of the media reports out there, some of the congressional hearings, policy. Policy has a huge impact on all of this. So this is your government people and your academics, right? So if you're building a business and you're looking to disrupt industries, well, guess what? Policy may have something to say about that and may also try to empower and help you do it correctly. So I don't care if you're talking about the next generation of healthcare with genetic engineering, precision medicine. I don't care if you're talking about Bitcoin or blockchain or AI, self-driving cars. All of these are going to at some point intersect policy, but we also want to get the best brains involved in this as well. So we've got top academics from Johns Hopkins University, Harvard, Georgetown, Babson, uh, and many more that are going to come there and talk to you about what's going on. So we have this entire ecosystem here that all work together, but there's other things that come into play as well. So we have some things that are going to sort of supercharge this as well, right? So we're talking about media. That just may not be the best marker, but we'll use it for now. We'll use, we'll use something that, we'll use another marker to, to supercharge that, right? So we've got media that comes into this. And we actually also have, let's say, politicians, which as we know, are sort of the ultimate policy makers, right? At the, you know, at the end of the day, Congress is going to pass the law, so it's, it moves beyond agencies, and of, and of course you have the executive, you know, and, and under the presidency that's also going to, to, to have an impact on policy. So what we're really talking about here is a full service, zero to IPO, this is one of our panel discussions, life cycle. But beyond that, we also get into capital markets. Right? So let's talk about both of those for one second. So if you're a company, you've got to go through this and figure out how you scale up as fast as you can, how you add value, how you bring together a very disparate market of where do I find my lawyer and you know where do I get my funding and what's my valuation and how do I hire the next 15, 20 people and how do we roll this thing out with sales and marketing. There's so many things that you have to put together and maybe you're a great scientist or maybe you're a great biologist or maybe you're a great technical person or maybe you're a great salesperson, but how do you put all this together? This is what speaks to that and all these things come into play. Once you're a public company, now you're dealing with this stuff a lot more and you're also going to be dealing with this stuff a lot more. If you certainly, if you have, if you're, when we're doing a whole sector on healthcare, right? Let's talk about healthcare for one second. If you're dealing in the healthcare sector, we've got a whole sector on healthcare, right? You're already from the from the Jump Street staffed up with MDs, PhDs. You're dealing with a lot of this FDA, NIH, HHS. So that's a very, very important part that we're dealing with there. But if you're just like, let's say, an app company or an Uber, or Lyft, whatever like that, you go public. 
now you're dealing with all kinds of other things that are that are involved in this. Plus, what about the capital markets? What about what happened with, with Lyft when they went public? What about with Uber when they went public? How are the public markets doing? How are the public markets doing in the U.S. and globally? We're going to talk about a lot of these different topics, but you can see just with a short video here how a lot of these things all come together and synergize, and we want to deal with the intersection of all these and make sure that we don't shortchange any one of these things and just only talk about startups and VCs because to me, that is an incomplete look at what it takes to make a successful company. One, fund it, get it going. Two, make it sustainable so that the unicorn can keep living and keep actually disrupting in the environment. That's what we're going to talk about. We hope that you join us on July 18th at Washington, D.C. We look forward to your participation. If you want to learn more and get your tickets, go to the video description on YouTube right below here. We're going to have a link. Let me know what you think. Please rate this video up. Please share it. Please tell your friends on social media. Thanks so much. I'm John D. Villarreal. I look forward to seeing you in Washington, D.C. on July 18th.